Hello and welcome back to my closet. Welcome back to the Bliss Fiend. Today I'm going to be trying on everything in my closet, maybe to declutter a couple of things, but mostly just to get reacquainted with what all I have in there. If you know me or have seen any of my videos, it should really come as no surprise to you that my closet is organized in rainbow order. Thank you to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. Let's do this. <laughs> This is the only colorful thing you're gonna see today. After this, it's just a blur of beige and gray. I really like the neckline on this one. I wear a lot of oversized clothing, so sometimes I wear this by itself. Sometimes I wear it unbuttoned over a shirt, and I guess you can also wear it like tied. I don't often do that, but you could. I thrifted this. This is actually like a kid's boy's t-shirt, but I like it, so. The oversized saga continues. Sometimes with this shirt though, I do like to use that trick where you like tuck it into your bra to crop it. This is a shirt I found on my very, very first thrifting trip. This is another one of the rare kind of vibrantly colored items in my closet. It is very, very soft. I think you can see how fuzzy it is. This shirt is quite see-through, yikes. I like the length of this turtleneck. Don't, don't you call this length like a mock neck, I think? Is that how the fashion people call it? This shirt and the next one I got in Lithuania last year when I visited my grandma because she likes to buy a lot of clothes with the intention of one day giving them to us. So I got to kind of shop her closet and I also really love, love, love this shirt. This is another one for my grandma. I really like the collar on this one. Very, very extra. This shirt I'm very proud of simply because I got it at like a church thrift event in Madrid and I had to go alone and speak Spanish, which is kind of scary, but a good experience. This shirt started like that orange shirt, but then I took a pair of scissors and I cropped it. Take that. My mom got me this shirt for my 18th birthday. I feel a little uncomfortable wearing it out in public so I generally wear it at home for exercising or when I'm with close friends. This is my antique French blouse or at least I like to think that it is. I just found it in a box at the thrift store. I really like the fit of this shirt. I feel like I haven't seen this kind of collar on other shirts and then it also makes my shoulders look less round, which I definitely appreciate. This is actually my first time trying on this shirt. My grandma recently sent it to us as part of like a holiday package. I love this shirt. I recently thrifted it. It's apparently 100% silk and it is so, so shiny. Another recent thrift find and then this is my new shirt from Organic Basics. So most of my clothing is thrifted, which is a great way to shop sustainably, but if you do buy new clothes, which you probably have to do for underwear and basic tees and stuff like that, then if it's an option for you, trying to buy something that's high quality and sustainably made can be better for the environment. So this underwear set from Organic Basics is so soft. This is the Organic Cotton Triangle Bra and the Organic Cotton Briefs, both in size small. They're so comfortable. They're made from GOTS certified organic cotton. This is the Oxford overshirt. If you have a keen memory, this is what I wore for my Billie Eilish costume. Billie Eilish is a lot cooler than me, but one thing we do have in common is that we both love oversized clothing, and I also love beige, so this was right up my alley. And it just feels really sturdy. Like the buttons, for example, feel like I could never accidentally rip them off, which is a big concern for a clumsy person like me. So if you want to add some simple basics to your closet, I have a 10% discount code for you in the description box that can be used worldwide. And it includes free shipping with minimum purchase. This is my Billie Eilish merch, which I miraculously found at a Goodwill on accident. This is one of my favorite shirts ever. And then I really like kind of like the balloon sleeves on this shirt, but I can't pull them up, which was a problem when I was washing dishes yesterday. And then I have a lot of t-shirts, but this is probably the only one I wear outside of the house. Someone in Texas was just walking around with t-shirts and was like, hey, do you want a free shirt? And I liked it, so I took it. Ignore the water stains on this shirt. This is what I was wearing before I started filming. So do what the shirt says and yikes. This one is also quite sheer. So let's move on to the sweaters category. This is my beloved Christmas sweater that I've really only gotten one chance to wear, but I keep it around because it is useful like two weeks out of the year. It's my only Christmas sweater and I really like Christmas. So unfortunately the zipper does not really work, but that doesn't matter because it has a cute polar bear on the back. Okay, this category is more like sweaters and things that just in general go over other clothes. So this is my raincoat that I bought for traveling last year. I got this one quite recently. This one's great for your outdoor adventuring and hiking. I think the zipper on this one might not work either, but I generally like wearing jackets unzipped, so it doesn't really matter to me. Kind of stole this one from my brother's closet. This is the blazer I always wore for FBLA competitions in high school to kick butts. And then this is the blazer I like to wear for business negotiations. 
abbreviations. This is another fuzzy sweater, an oversized cozy sweater, and a very, very warm plaid cardigan. This is a sweatshirt I thrifted. I'm pretty sure it's for some religious organization, so I like to call it my church merch. I know I have a lot of fuzzy sweaters, but this is the fuzziest sweater, hands down. This is like wearing a teddy bear. And then this is the sweatshirt from my high school newspaper club. Just another hoodie, kind of an athletic type jacket. And then this is my one and only piece of BTS merch that I currently own. <laughs> These are actually my mom's overalls when she was my age. These were a lifesaver when I was traveling last year. This is a little dress that I like to wear over t-shirts. Same thing with this one. This also belonged to my mom. I kind of see this as like a winter sweater dress. This one I don't really like the fit of, but it is very comfortable as a nightgown, so that's why I keep it. And then this is possibly my favorite dress that I have ever, ever owned. A shirt dress, another dress, and then this was my senior prom dress. Look at the details on this dress. I absolutely love this dress. And then finally, this is my simple professional-ish dress. I think I wore this to like math competitions and stuff like that. So I've got a couple of athletic shorts, some very comfortable sweatpants. I really like the length of these Adidas pants. I've got two pairs of leggings. These are either my pajama shorts or my vacation shorts. These pants were also my mom's. They are extremely comfortable for wearing around the house. These are my two pairs of wide leg pants from Everlane. This is a skirt I love very much because it is so twirly. My businessy plaid pants, these cropped kind of jean things, I guess. I like these jeans a lot. I really like the stripe that goes down the side. I think it's a nice little detail. My very, very flowy, breezy gingham pants, jean shorts, another skirt, a little less twirly than the other one, but it's okay. These are my mom's pants. I think my grandma actually sewed them for her, which is really cool. These are my office pants, which I would wear if I worked in an office and then a skirt that I also don't really wear. And then I forgot about these jeans, so I had to film these later. These are my very generic, basic mom jeans. These are my sandals that I've had forever. For some reason, even though my style has changed a lot over the years, I just continue to really like these ones. My low heels and then my high heels, which I have literally only worn to prom and to one heels dance class. These are my sneakers for exercising. They have great arch support, which is very important. These are my very beaten up Nike sneakers, which I've taken all around the world. And finally, my platform boots that I feel extremely powerful in. And then in winterish outerwear, I have this black puffer coat, this plaid, I don't know what you call this type of coat, but it makes me feel very fancy. I like it a lot. And then this trench-ish coat that I thrifted and wore all the time when I was in Europe. And then this is kind of a rain jacket slash windbreaker that I thrifted very recently. Aside from my prescription glasses, which I almost never wear because I generally wear contacts, I have these fake glasses, these very real sunglasses, and then this other pair of sunglasses. I'm pretty sure I have a baseball cap somewhere, but for some reason I could only find my bucket hat. And then I have two winter scarves and a couple of other scarves that I really do not know how to wear, but I really like the pattern. So hopefully one day I will learn. Thank you again to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. The links to the shirt, the bra, and the underwear set are in the description. You can use my code to get 10% off and free shipping. I hope this video was interesting. I'm not really super that into fashion. This is definitely not a fashion channel, but wearing fun clothes is fun, but it's also important not to let your closet overflow with fun clothes. So I think I've sort of been able to strike a balance. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week. Bye.